All right, group. So today's lesson is all about Punnett squares. And this is probably one of the most important lessons you're going to get in genetics. Because um, the whole point of these little boxes that you see in front of you is it answers the question of what are the chances that your kids or offspring will get certain traits. So like, for example, I knew my daughter had a 25% chance of getting blue eyes. And the reason I knew that is because I know how to do a Punnett square. So the goal today is to teach you just that so you can do the exact same type of stuff and what's pretty wonderful is that you're going to see it's pretty easy so the first thing you need, you need to do is to set up a box like this in front of you so you draw a big box and then split it up into four boxes and the reason that the four boxes are so important is because each box represents a fraction so here's where there's a little bit of math there are four boxes, so each box represents 25%. So when we get done, if one box, like this box here, has blue eyes and the rest have brown eyes, that would mean that there's a one in four chance of having blue eyes. If you end up having two boxes that have blue eyes and two that have brown eyes, well then that means there is a 50% chance and a 50% chance of the, of the other trait. So that's how we read these boxes, is each box represents 25%. So let's do a couple real examples, and I think you'll get the point pretty quickly. So the first thing we always need to figure out is what are the parents? So in this scenario, let's say that your dad is big B, little b, and your mom is little b, little b. So the way you set up a Punnett square is you put one of the parents on top and one on the side. It doesn't matter what you put where. So for here, if we said this is the dad, we're going to put the dad on top. So you put a big B on top of one of the columns and a little B on top of the other because you take one of his alleles and the other allele. And then for mom, you split up her as well. You put one of the alleles in front of this row and one of the alleles in front of this row. So setting it up is probably one of the most important things because if you don't set it up right, um, you're not going to be able to solve it. So now that it's set up, it's pretty easy to do. So all you do is you basically combine the letters in a box. So for this one, we'd bring this one down to both of these rows. And then this one down to both of these rows. And then you bring these across. So you bring this across to here and this one across to here. You would bring this one here and you bring this one here. And there we go, you've just finished a Punnett square. So now it all just matters that you can read it. So if I said, what percent are blue eyes? You'd say, okay, well, this is blue eyes because that's little b, little b, and this is blue eyes because little b, little b. So two out of four are gonna be blue eyes. So again, this is all probability. So even though there's a 50% chance of blue eyes, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna have one blue-eyed kid and one brown-eyed, then one blue-eyed, one brown-eyed. Just like flipping a coin, you can't guarantee it's always gonna be heads and tails, heads and tails. It's just probability. So there's a 50% chance of having blue eyes and then a 50% chance of having brown eyes. And that's Punnett square. So I'm gonna give you one more. What I'd recommend you do here is you pause and try it on your own. So I'll give you a moment to pause. All right, hopefully you tried it on your own. If not, when you got done, you should have ended up with something that looks very much like what I'm making right now. And you'll see that it doesn't matter which it is, top or left, that the capital letter still always goes first. Oh, see, I messed up. This should be little b, little b. Okay. So now we have the correct Punnett square and you end up with one out of four blue eyes. And even though these are different genotypes, you know now they're both brown eyed. So brown eyed, brown eyed, brown eyed. So it's a 75% chance of having brown eyes. Um, and that's it. That's how to do a Punnett square. If you have any questions, please ask me and I'll be glad to help you.